Good evening. This side, Rahul Makan here as a Group Chief Executive Officer, Treasury Consulting. As we speak, Treasury Consulting is a multinational headquartered group based out Singapore. Professionally speaking, we are a multinational multi-asset hedge fund. By multinational, I mean we actively take positions in US, Europe and Asia. By multi-asset, I mean we cover various asset classes like foreign exchange, commodities, gold and variety. But like I repeated many times and I always repeat in every video, we are a proprietary hedge fund. By proprietary, I mean no third party. I repeat, no third party can invest capital in our fund. Guys, when we set up any special purpose entity, now I already told you in my earlier video by our tax haven desk that the sole purpose of special purpose entity is to create a securitization model. When I say securitization model, I would like to convey in a legal way. Please take a note of that. It is utmost important for the creator of the SPE, special purpose entity, as well as the administrator of SPE, SPE. Please note that in any SPE, there are two people. Number one, the creator. Creator is the law firm who creates SPE. Second is the administrator. It is said that administrator is nothing but the owner of the SPE but I differ many a times because I have seen many cases whereby special purpose entity administrator is a separate person while the owner is a separate person. And the scene have a huge twist when you have a master feeder accounting, which means you are having SPE onshore, you are having SPE offshore, which is called master feeder accounting. Anyways, it is at most important for administrator oblique the owner of the SPE to have a full understanding of the private banking. I'm not saying that he should be MBA. I'm not saying that he should be Einstein or Newton in finance, but the law firm which he is referring as far as the creation of SP is concerned, this law firm should tell him the complete benefits of the private banking. I don't want it to quote any specific name, but we all understand that we are having variety of top banks of the globe. We have Goldman Sachs, we have JP Morgan, we have Morgan Stanley, we have Citibank, we have UBS, we have Barclays, we have Toshi. List is long. Controversy or no controversy? Fraud, scandal, fines, regulatory investigations, block trading scandals, controversy or no controversy, but majority of the top banks of the globe are having their private banking desk. And trust, these private banking desks are very handy. They have lots and variety of product which they can offer. But of course, we should know how to contact them. That's a very, very important thing. So please understand that SPE should understand private banking very well. 
when you are paying the fees to the legal firm or the law firm who practically initiate your special purpose entity in offshore tax havens like Cayman Island, British Virgin Island, UK Channel Islands, Caribbean Islands, Singapore, Netherlands, Ireland, Hong Kong, the list is very long. You should first see how the products which are offered by the private banking desks of big banks can help you out. And trust me, if you do the due diligence, it would help you. Rather, I should correct myself. It will not help you. It will save your time and money also. So example, you devised your SPE and after devising your SPE, you got to know that the securitization first, which is called equity loss tranche, needs an arranger desk. Okay. Now, arranger desk, you will not get on the road. It is not available at any app which you are using. You need to contact the big banks. But what would if you contacted these big banks much, much earlier when you was creating SPE? That's the very important point. In this regard, the cost, money, time would not only be saved, but also the project would be on time. Now, we first need to understand one thing. There are many jurisdictions in which top banks do not operate. So we need to have a solution. Solution is two. either you contact the principal, which is their headquarters in US, New York, Singapore or different parts of the globe and explain them this is your requirement. This is the purpose of the SPE. Example, you are looking to set up in Cayman or probably in UK Channel Islands or maybe BVI. And this is the whole structure you have to make. So let me give you a simple example. Suppose your offshore entity is having some stocks and you wanted to create a total return swap, which is called TRS. Now that total return swap, you are the actually, you know, I would say you are the main party who owns it, which is called the pair. But you need a receiver also. Who would be receiver? Provided your stocks having a valid valuation, it is a good company, intrinsic value and many other factors. These top banks would be the receiver. If not these top banks, the investment banks, the hedge funds, the private equity players, they would be the receiver. Also known as investor. So what would if I create my SPE, special purpose entity, and later somebody guided me, let's do a TRS, total return swap. And I not negotiated this with the top banks. Then finding a receiver, also known as investor, would be as costlier as setting up SPE. You will not get this kind of knowledge on the YouTube because people don't deliberate that. Guys, SPE setting looks very, very easy, but it is not. You know my number? 9899242978.